Right, hey everyone, this is just a quick um, video. It's just to do with this little box I made. Okay, I've posted some information on the algorithm forum, but <clears throat> it's a little bit unclear exactly what it's doing. Um, quick, we'll have a quick look at the, what we got on the desk as per usual. So we've got an iPad 1, a pair of Pioneer headphones. We've got 3.5 millimeter male to male cable. And this is a 3.5 millimeter twin phono, which is going into the studio monitors just underneath. Um, little iPad stand. <clears throat> Little diagram which I'll explain. I'll hold that up a bit later and show you that. And of course, cup of tea. Grand. Right, <clears throat> let's have a look at this. What we've got here is a splitter box. So in this port, which is a 3.5mm stereo, it goes into the unit there from the iPad and then I split each channel, so the left and the right channels. The left channel, which is the master output, goes to this 3.5 millimeter output connector. So from one pin on this input, I then take two leads across to the left and right outputs of this. So I'm creating a two channel mono output. Sounds a bit odd, but bear with me. <clears throat> the other, the right hand channel from the input comes across to this connector, which is on the front, which is the headphone connector. Again, I'm taking the single left input, a single right input on this socket and splitting it so there's two wires that come down connecting to the left and right pins of this socket for the headphones. Now the knob, the knob is actually a 10 kilo ohm um, rear stat or potentiometer. Uh, it's a linear potentiometer but I'm not quite sure, I don't think it's right to be honest with you, I think I might change it for a slightly lighter weight um, logarithmic because <clears throat> the idea behind this was that on the queue out of the headphones I can only hear the pre queue or the queuing channel so the deck that isn't the crossfade is not on what I'd like to do is I'd like to be able to rotate this knob and bring in the master output as well into the headphones so I can hear both of them in the, in the headphones at the same time <clears throat> now let's have a look at the wiring diagram Right, you'll have to bear with me on this and I'll see if I can make it as clear as possible. What we have then is, this is the input down here. And we've got three connections. So the middle one is the ground, and we have a left and a right. <coughs> Sorry, a left and a right. The grounds connect all three sockets together. Okay, so there's, cable, there's wiring inside the box that just connects all the grounds together. The right-hand channel goes directly across to the output the headphone socket and I've cross-linked the left and the right channel pins so as to create the mono image in both headphones. And the right hand channel sorry the left hand channel from the input it goes up to the output the master output socket and again I've bridged the left and the right pins to create a mono a two output mono so left and right channels are both supplied with the same signal. I then take another feed across to the potentiometer and then feed it back out to the potentiometer and join it down to the, the pins that are cross-linked on the headphones. The idea being is as this is rotated, the resistance gets less and less on the potentiometer. It allows the master signal to come through and bleed into the headphones. Now, the two problems I'm facing. One is the potentiometer's, the rating's not right. And I'm not sure if it's the linear aspect is best or whether to go logarithmic. So really it's a volume control. I'm also getting bleed back from the Q channel, it's bleeding back into the master channel. So I think a diode is going to have to be inserted there just to stop that signal being bled back. Right. <clears throat> Plugging it in, it's simply a case of box. Okay. Now I, there's no designations and it might be very difficult, but I've one of the bezel um, rings has been put in the wrong way around and that's the I'm using these little cutouts so if, the, if I can see the cutout it's an output if I can't see the cutout it's an input that's my theory so input in <clears throat> in the back so I need to grab the cable for the output yeah and it just goes in the back of there headphones so I just grab the cable for headphones goes in the front like that so that's how the box looks when it's all wired up. Okay. Switch that lot on. Just start algorithm up. Uh, 
I'm just going to move the camera just slightly so you can get a better image of what's going on. Right, split and output is enabled. Yes, that's correct. <clears throat> so let's just load the track up into there. I'm just going to turn the iPad more towards the camera so you can see. Um, right, it doesn't really matter what I load in. Let's just load the track in. And I'll load in something else into the second deck. Okay, right. <laughs> I'm just going to turn that down a bit. Right, so all we've got now is that's the master channel, okay? Now, I'll just hide those around the back. Right, so we can't hear the Q channel, which is this one, which is deck B, but you should be able to hear them out of the headphones, okay? Now, this isn't mixed or anything, I'm not, it's not the purpose of the video. Okay, so if I swap that over, we've now got deck A, sorry, deck B is going to the master, and deck A is now going to the headphones. Okay, I'm just going to turn that down just a smidge more, because I'm more interested in the headphone bit now. So we've got the headphones. As I say, the idea was I could then turn the, the pot on the little box that I made. Now you should be able to hear that that's actually, it is bringing through both of the signals, but if I turn the master up, you can hear that it's also bleeding back out to the master as well, which is to be expected in fairness. Okay, so I'll turn that. So right now, at the moment, the master out is the deck A, and I can cue on the headphones, yeah? Can see it works easily. So I'll stop that. So a little bit of work to do on this box yet. Okay, I'll just bring it back up into sight. So a little bit of work to do on this box yet. I think the potentiometer needs replacing. I'm only really what's happening is that's the stop. Okay, so you can see where the line is. I'm not getting any sound at that point, and I'm getting all the sound at that point. Now if I so I'm not getting that's where the sound there's zero sound at that point. If I rotate the knob all the way to its other extreme, you'll see how much movement of that knob is lost. So from there, no sound, no sound, no sound, no sound from the master, no sound from the master, no sound from the master, and then it starts to come in there. It's only about a quarter of a turn that's actually doing anything. And of course, I'm getting bleed. So the Q channel is bleeding back out through the master channel. Okay, right, that's it. Cheers, bye.